Some of you just the sound of a pussy cat. You're under the bed. I don't measure. They don't come. I said, I remember one day, one lady, in fact, a pussy cat was crying out of her window. She called me. That was 2 a.m. My phone was ringing. I picked the phone. You know, I picked phone 24 hours. She called, I said, Hello? Hello, Major. I said, Speak alone, now. Huh? Major, I don't have bed. I said, Now wait. They don't come. I said, them who? Them. I said, them who no? He said, meow. Imagine pussycat will make somebody to go under the bed. Huh? I said, where are they? She answered me. They the fuck on the window. Measure. You know the air. Huh? I said, carry water. Let me bless you. Go out and bless around the house. Measure. Measure. If you come, if you come. I said, me. I said, who's that? Sisia 4. Sisia 4. Someone come up for my 4. They go Sisia 4 for 2 o'clock for night. For God bless us. For the pussy, the I said, get up and pray. He said, measure. Light, light day off. I said, get up. Begin to pray. I did it. Yeah, yeah. I said, open your mouth. I'll lay here now. My blood is bitter. My blood is bitter. Pussy cat. Do you know unbelievers they sleep better than you? Huh? Look at unbelievers. They don't see what they call spiritual husband, spiritual wife. They sleep. You know to see how unbelievers do sleep. They sleep open their foot. Sleeping without breast wear. They fine. But you a child of God. The moment you pray, anoint your face, you climb for bed. The first hand they come now for here. He don't hold you now here. <laughs> One day, one woman made me to laugh on tea. That was, I think, one minute after 12. Man of God, if you imagine, I don't really try, I don't try, oh, I find wrong my face. I just want to climb for back over my eyes, and then they depress my neck. Hmm? I said, Madam, I don't know why I cannot stop demon from pressing you. It is a medium. It's just there to support you. Yes, the hand will press you, but the hand will not kill you. Get up and pray. One lady came to me, told me, she said, where is she was in the world? The problem she's going through now, while she was in the war, she never had those problems. I said, you're a fool. I said, the moment you accept Jesus, problems will follow you. Satan run behind those who know Jesus. And for those who don't know Jesus, he does not waste his time to follow them because the day he wants to finish them, he will finish them without even information. Are you with me? I am number one person Satan is having my picture. If Satan can get me, there will be what we call celebration in the kingdom of darkness. The moment Satan understands you are in the opposition party and you have a seat in the parliament, hey, you are an obstacle. That's Satan. There are some of you sitting here. What you are going through, grace is keeping you. The time you used to go to wish doctors, things were better. When Baba was the first number, favorite number in your phone. Baba will even call you my daughter. I'm not seeing you in the mirror again. How are you? Baba, I'm fine. But now that you have confessed Jesus, even to do your hair, you are managing 600 francs bank market. Things are difficult. Why? But God knows why. But every difficulty will end with a testimony. Yeah. Tell yourself, I know God is walking the way out for me. Yes. Difficulties is not the end of your life. I remember one of the trying moments I went through in ministry. You know, my early days, things were very difficult. 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 Ah, uh, Many things has made me to be strong. To be strong. Many things to be strong. Many things. And there's a common saying, experience is the best teacher. What has given me experience is hardship, difficulties, rejection, isolation. Many isolated themselves away from me. I was rejected by my friends. I remember when I started preaching the gospel, my benchmate was the first person who mocked and laughed at me. He had given me a name, Prophet Elijah. I remember when my first days I used to evangelize in my four junction, Okada people gave me a name. Prophet Elijah. That's 20 something, 28 years ago. But today, 
Sometimes when I stand in front of the church, Sunday they are coming with speeds to drop Christians. Go. In fact, I begin to look at them. There's time for everything. None of you should give up. No matter who insults you, hold on. Even if someone says you will never get married, don't worry. The husband you will get married will not even be an ordinary husband. Don't think the end of your life has come. Mm -mm. God has a plan for everybody. I say he has a what? He has a plan for everybody. God has a plan for everybody. Trials will come. Persecution. And I pray, you as a child of God, the trials that will come your way will be as many as your blessings coming. No great man in the Bible became great without going through what we call obstacles in life. Go to the book of Daniel. In Daniel chapter 6, Daniel went through pains. At the end of the day, Daniel was promoted. The Bible says, because Daniel was blessed with, a, with an outstanding position, he was appointed. Im, imagine appointment. Not only a governor among the 120 governors, but he was among the best three, the first best three. And because of his appointment, persecution came. Imagine they wrote a letter to the king, King Darius, and they said, anyone who violates the order, he should be arrested. Daniel was arrested. Imagine. And when he learned an order was signed, the Bible says, Daniel, he did not stop praying. What did he do? He went to the upper room where he used to pray. And the windows were still open, facing Jerusalem. And he went on his knees and started praying. When there is a man to pray, they say, God to answer. And if you don't pray, Satan will make mess of you. Daniel prayed. And when he finished praying, they were waiting for him to arrest him. And those who accused him, they went and stood at the opposite direction, watching through the windows to see if Daniel was praying. There are many of your friends, many of your in-laws, they have reported you to your husband that you are coming here. That should not stop you from going to church. Instead, when your husband calls you on phone, where are you? Tell him, I'm going to church. Don't hide it. Don't tell him you're going to visit your friend. If you say you're going to church, the God you are going to serve, he will soften the heart of your husband. Your husband will follow you to a living church. But if you tell your husband, I'm on my way going to the market, how do you expect God? He says, Jesus said, those who acknowledge me, those who declare me openly, so I will also declare, acknowledge them before my father. You should never be ashamed of Jesus. Openly tell your friends, you are now a child of God. Do not hide your belief. Do not hide your faith. Do not hide your integrity with God. Me standing here. I have never been ashamed. I have never been ashamed of God. And that's why he's pushing me to another dimension. If you come here, you're trying to celebrate. Man of God, wow, you're doing wonders. I will tell you, God is doing wonders. Let the name of the Lord be in front. You will make room for two. You and who? You and I, Jesus. You should learn to make room for two. Jesus should be in front. You should be behind. Push him in front. Let the doors be opened by Jesus. If the doors are opened by him, no enemy will close it. Today, may every door closed in your life be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may have your seat. Praise God. Yes. Please, please. There's another three good friends in the Bible. Test of faith came up. Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel chapter 3. The Bible says, and these three... They were reported, in fact, they were being what? Given what we call high class persecution. Imagine for fire to be heated seven times hotter than it used to be heated. And they did not give up. Neither the flames, neither the heat coming out from the furnace. The Bible says they did not give up. They stood their grounds. And they said, nothing will separate them from God. Many of you sitting here, your colleagues have laughed at you. That is why you are ashamed to even put on the altar tricot and go to the market. And every day you go to the market with your nice dresses. Dresses even produced by occultic textile companies. Still yet no sales at your business places. 
for those who are ready to carry Jesus, Jesus will be ready to push them higher. He says, my sheep knows me. When I call them, they will answer. When they call me, I will be there for them. Hmm? These are latter days. Favor can only follow you. If you know what is favor. If you belong to favor. If you are ashamed of God, God will be ashamed of you. That's God. Imagine somebody being arrested, put in the lion's den, and lions could not harm him. Today, an ordinary gong dog in the quarter, it did bite you so. Hmm? You speak in tongues. We don't even go to church. Hmm? Imagine lions welcome Daniel, went and collected bones and brought to him. And Daniel said, Sorry, I'm not hungry. He was a man of faith. Faith. Anyone here whose faith is weak, may strength be given to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing will bring down your faith. Let me hear the loudest amen you can. Amen. You may have your seats. In verse 3, for you know that when your faith succeeds in facing such trials, the result is the ability to endure. Make sure that your, your, your endurance carries you all the way without failing. So that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. But if any of you lack wisdom, you should pray to God. Who will give it to you? Because God gives generously and graciously to all. But when you pray, you must believe and not doubt at all. Whoever doubts is like a wave in the sea that is driven and blown about by the wind. People like that are unable to make up their minds and understand all they do. Must not think that they will receive anything from the Lord. When you pray, you must believe and you must not doubt. Bear in mind from today, your faith must be tested. There is nothing you will do for your faith to remain untested. God must allow the devil to test your faith. Not God who tests your faith. He allows the devil. The devil, you know, he's someone who accuses us every minute. And God has given him the go-ahead to test your faith in many or different ways. Hmm? And if you are not strong spiritually, you will fall from grace. Hold on. No sweat, no sweet. No bitterness, no sweetness at the end of the day. Ah, every man who approaches you for marriage will tell you at the end of the day, disappointment. Ah, we cannot get married. Oh, these are trials. The real husband is coming. One of my daughters, she's fine now. She's the one enjoying a nice Prado. Am I the one? I don't even have one. I remember days I used to advise her. I would tell her, hold on. A husband is coming. She would tell me, man of God, I'm getting old. I said, it's not a matter of age. Your husband is coming. I told you this what happened. Many, many years, one day I was in the house. I got the sound of a Prado. And all I could get was a very heavy engine. It came out, watch. It went and turned. Came and trafficked and parked. And I saw, you know, we have a guada in three categories. A guada of malam, a guada of allergy, and a guada of what? Ganako. Am I talking to somebody here? You know, that of Ganako. Is that one that had a long rope? That is dirty. They can wash it once in six months. The one of malam, they can wash once in two months. The one of allergy. In fact, every day they press it. And the one of allergy, they can hide 10 of us inside. In fact, you, you know, you put on first the trousers, you put on the small one before the other one, before the real one that as you're walking, malams, they are there gathering it for you, putting like this. He came down from the car with about three big phones. Wow. All I could recognize was my daughter. I said, wow. Who is this? Maybe she's coming with maybe an allergy to come and greet me. Little did I know. 
The husband I used to encourage her, your husband will come. The husband finally came. And in fact, all I could see was a paper. I saw bread there. While they were talking, the husband said, okay, to cut the matter short, prophet, we have come to greet you and I've come to see uh, my to-be spiritual father and I've come to appreciate you. While he was talking, his hand was in his pocket, something heavy and big brown envelope came out. You know, in every spiritual daughter I have, I'm the first father-in-law. Can you clap a father-in-law? I'm the first father-in-law. So, at the end of the day, what made me to be jealous? She said, he said, we're on our way, leaving for Europe. Uh -uh. That did not sound. All what he was saying, he will enter here and come out here. When he said, we are on our way, I thought we, including me. You see? And my daughter was only there on her knees. She came and held my leg. She was crying, kata, oh, you know, re cry comes out with kata. She was crying, kata, rub my black trouser. But I was not worried because the envelope in me could buy me another black trousers. At the end of the day, where is she today? Why they entered their car, they were going. Till the car went and I could not see it again. I came, you know, Villain Kong? I was looking. I said, so, a life just changed like this. Today, your own life will just change like this. You may be seated. Yes. There are many, they have suffered. Today, if you look at them, you will not believe they came from a poor background. God has a plan for everybody. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. One day, I was sitting with a certain man. This man shared his story with me. He's a multi-billionaire. He said, my prophet, I have suffered in life. Time came. In fact, I was a charger. Time came. I will hire boss, get customers, passengers, travel. Today, everywhere, my name is everywhere. I'm among the first four riches in Dwala. You see, there are people who are blessed today. But if you know where they are coming from, in fact, you will not believe. I used to tell you how I grew up. My father used to feed me with beans and fufu. You know what it means? Fufu and beans, plantain and okra. Teacher is teaching in class. Even the ambod, you're seeing the additional marks. But today, when you look at Prophet Alo, you think he came from a very rich background. No! Don't give up in your own situation. I speak into your life. Every door closed. May God open it for you now. Be seated. Life is in stages. Even if they laugh at you, mock at you. Even if they laugh at you, mock at you. Huh? Leave it for God. The battle is not in your hands. In the book of Exodus 14 verse 14. God said, be still my children. I will fight for you. May God fight your battle. May God fight your battle. In the name of Jesus. You may have your seats. Anybody who thinks he can fight on his own is wasting his time. God has been fighting battles in this place. Try us. 